This video right here is for the big name manufacturers out there. The Specialized, the Trek, the Giant, the Pinarellos, whoever wants to take part in this experiment. But I waited a very long time to make this video because even myself, I tried to spin it in a way where I'm able to make money off this idea, but I don't think I have the resources to do so. So I figure I just go ahead and make a video because if this does come into play, I really do think it'll be a benefit to consumers and also a benefit to everyone in the bicycle world for cheaper bikes. But let me tell you guys what I'm talking about right here. Let's go ahead and edit or do Big Zoom 2. Big Zoom 1. Damn it, missed it. Big Zoom 2. Big Zoom 1. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about today, guys. And it has all to do with this right here. Now, I know you guys are probably tired of seeing this video. And you're probably wondering what this has to do with Specialized Trek and all them. Let me get into it. So... I have a very good friend at work that we kind of go back and forth with where we talk about the industry stuff going on. Um, this type of stuff does not come into play that much in my bicycle shop. Now, this is huge in the YouTube world, but in the actual real world bicycle industry, I get a lot of walk-ins with people not even looking at YouTube cycling. They just want a bicycle that they know is going to work back. They might know about Shimano, SRAM, and stuff like that. This group set has come out. I have done a couple videos on it. It's coming out more and more. It's becoming a better working group set as well. Um, it's basically a two by 12 semi wireless electronic group set. That's hydraulic disc brakes. And it does rival with a lot of the nicer stuff. It compares well against the SRAM red group set. It has a very similar platform to the Shimano 12 speed, uh, Altegra Endurance lineup, but at a fraction of the price, this stuff can be found online for about 685 to $725 minus crank cassette chain as well. Um, downside is it's from AliExpress. There's not a lot of good um, consumer backing. And obviously, whenever you buy anything from AliExpress or China, there's always that unsettling feeling of how it's going to work and how it's going to play out. Now, where these big name guys come into play, if we look at specialized bikes or, or sorry, modern bikes over the years, let's just pull out this right here. Uh, this right here. I did a video on the Trek Madone SL6 recently. They came out of the bicycle with 105D2 that is now $5,500 for a flagship aero bike that is just a little bit less of a carbon layup. So a little bit heavier carbon, but a bunch of good stuff in there. Now, the way that these bicycle trends are going is that these bicycle manufacturers like Trek have been making stuff in-house longer and longer. A long time ago, 10, 15 years ago, handlebars used to be different, wheels used to be different. You used to see different spec seats on stuff like that. So in this instance, let's say they had a Trek, Trek bicycle frame, they might have a Ritchie bar, Mavic wheels, um, Continental tires, uh, Sella Royale saddles, whatever, Sella Italia saddles. As the world is going more and more and more, these companies want to make more and more money. So now we see everything with their own company name on it Bond Trigger wheels, Bond Trigger tires, Bond Trigger bar, Bond Trigger seats. You guys get the picture. And this is the same thing for Giant with Kadex, Specialized with Roval, Pinarello with Most, Scott with Synchros. Every single big name bicycle brand out there has their own kind of sister company that makes their own spec components on there. What is the most expensive part that these bicycle manufacturers say costs them the most money to make is the group sets they outsource. Now, obviously they get it for way cheaper than me. You would buy at a uh, secondhand retailer or even online direct to consumer. They're getting these things for really, really cheap to build these bicycles and they're getting really good deals from Shimano or SRAM. Shimano and SRAM have definitely had the stronghold on the industry. Then you also have Campy, which is still on some nice high-end Italian bicycle companies. But no matter what big name bicycle brand out there there is, it's usually Shimano or SRAM seeing on these bicycles. Now, again, we go back to this group set right here. Why is this important? If I was one of these big name guys, Trek, we have a Giant, we have a Specialized Tarmac S8, we have whoever it is. These big three companies right here are typically the big name guys. They make everything from bicycles to cruisers to mountain bikes to components across the board to clothing lines. They have enough money to go ahead and do whatever they want to do. So if they could eliminate, all right, this fact right here, this is their cheapest bicycle that Trek makes right now for this Madone. Let's say you want to buy this Madone SL6. This bicycle will cost you $5,500, which is still a really good deal. I made a video on this bicycle and I thought so it was a really good deal. Now, let's just say they took this bicycle and they were to make this exact same Trek Madone right here, but with, let's say, a Bond Trigger group or a Revolve group 
or a Cadex group, and they rebranded it. That's right, these companies went out of their way, Shrek, Giant, or Specialized, went out and bought this company. Now, I'm just saying this in terms of me just speaking out loud, like, oh, just go buy this company. But I for sure know that these companies have the money to do so. And then if they were able to take this company and stronghold it and put it on their bicycles, and then they would be the only ones who sell it aftermarket. You might get a markup on the price instead of it being 685 or 725. It might be 800 or 900 bucks now. But now you're going to get a USA warranty. You're going to get a company back warranty. You might get a better uh, end user product as well. But let's just say for complete bicycles, again, like I said, taking this $5,500 Trek Madone and you put it on Bond Trigger Group, or let's just say they keep the same name and they make a crank and chain for it later on down the road. Now you have a bicycle that's not instead of 5500 bucks, you can buy this off brand or their own brand for 4000 3500 bucks. You don't have to go to Shimano and make your group sets. You're making this stuff in house. So now you're making this stuff on pennies on the dollar because of the fact that you have the rights to it. You can actually then sell this to other groups. You can actually sell this to other people. You can sell this to other stores. You have a giant propeller right here. Giant will be a perfect person to go after. You have this rival bicycle right here that's $6,000. You get rid of the whole rival group set and you put this bike again for $4,000. Now, again, it will be their choice to mark it up whether or not, but you have a huge high end group set that I've been testing it works really well i am very surprised for what it is uh we are seeing other youtubers use this stuff as well i don't think it's going to be anywhere near where it's going to come into retail aspects anytime soon but this is taking away from shimano's market share for sure this is taking away from sram's market share for sure they're missing the boat on this price point so if you see even a tarmac sla on here again get rid of the rival you rebrand this l2 group set as a row wall group set now you have a complete bicycle that you're making a house Nothing on this bicycle is anywhere else. You have Revol bars, Revol wheels, Revol tires, specialized seat, specialized everything else. And then you have a Revol group set. I think you're going to hit the nail on the head and you're going to have a ton of bicycles. Instead of being 6500 bucks, which they still make these bikes for this rival, you spec as $4,000. Now you're in cahoots with competing against Shimano Mechanical, SRAM Mechanical. You don't have to downsize to an SL7. You can get an SL8 with this kind of group set. And the list goes on and on. There will obviously will still be some crazy R&D to develop to make sure everything functions well with this group set because you don't have any mishaps. But like I said, it's a benefit to consumers and matter of getting the backing they want stateside, getting the backing by a company that they know where they bought their bicycle from. Um, it's going to be a little bit more money, but you're going to have a group set that's really works well and competes against Shimano and SRAM, but it's half the price. So again, I'm just putting this out there. I really want to put this into motion. Uh, me and my buddy at work, that we talk about the market all day of the bicycle industry. As soon as we saw this group set and we saw it working, we're like, why don't one of these big guys just buy this company? I know it sounds like crazy. Like, just buy it, you know, like you have millions of dollars, but just buy this company and you, I think it will literally pay itself out if you get it working properly to a point where he's backing it. Now, like I said, my experience right now, Group set's been working. I have almost, I think about a thousand miles on this group set. I had a bunch of mishaps at first, but they fixed the battery. The software updates works really well. Let me know what you guys think about this situation. Uh, I am very interested in this and see the, where this goes. They might just get really good deals from Shimano and SRAM. Their margins might be really good anyways. They might not go after it. L2 might not want to sell to them. They might just see that as working really well. But if they buy this whole company L2, they give them a nice payout for it. They get all the patents and all the all the, the product designs for the mechanical group sets, for their electronic group sets, for everything they have coming out and working, they can literally have a whole lineup of bicycles for that underpriced point bicycles. Instead of it being 5,000 for complete integrated bikes with carbon wheels, you can get really good looking bicycles. I mean, imagine that. And I'm not gonna, who, who wouldn't buy the cheaper model of that for a 12 speed on there? Makes, I don't know. I think it'll be a really good deal. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Um, if there is something I'm missing here, let me know down below in the comment section. I don't know. This is just me speaking out loud as a bicycle industry guy. There might be like laws against it. Maybe uh, Shimano and SRAM have a no sell clause. Who knows? But uh, let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next video.